Hi guys, welcome. Today we're going to be doing an old-fashioned, old-fashioned fashion review of BoxyCharm November 2019. I thought maybe doing this video because I am not, uh, I've canceled almost all my subscriptions. The only one that's hanging by a hair is BoxyCharm. Uh, and, I'll and, I'll, and I'll say why. I think BoxyCharm is an awesome box to get, especially if you are trying to build your makeup collection or you want to explore a new brand. I think it's great. You know, I have been subscribed to subscription boxes for nearly a year. And um, so the only one, and the only boxes I would get would be the Allure, the Ipsy, Play by Sephora. And um, let's see, what was the other one? And I think boxy, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think, yeah. So those four boxes I was getting. And um, so now, you know, I'm kind of reevaluating whether to even keep BoxyCharm. Not sure. Um, I have been dibbling and dabbling and getting my own products because I realize what I like and what I don't like. And um, I've realized also that this is a good, good way to, like, if you're new, like I said, like myself, I found unboxings to be so much fun. I looked at other YouTubers on how they would unbox all these wonderful things. It gave me a great opportunity to try different things. And that's why I've been like purchasing the full size items. And um, yeah, so it's been very helpful. It's been very therapeutic to unbox boxes on this channel. But um, yeah, so my preference for makeup and skincare has been kind of diverting in different ways. And so um, I want to not waste money, although you, for me, like it's good to save money when you do subscription boxes, but you don't always get all the things you want. And there's always a chance that you may get expired products or products that are not... Um, like, for instance, I have like a million nude lipsticks, seriously. And, you know, I've been wanting a red lipstick. I've never got a red lipstick in one whole year of being on a subscription box. No, wait a second. Correction. Allure box, I did get a red Hoda lipstick. And I think that was, that was about it. That was the end of that. So, anyway, let's get started with the review. First of all, I want to show the lipstick we got in the november box 2019 was this lipstick my my shade was nude mood and of course another nude and you know the formula is wonderful i love it this nude is more wearable for me um but i really wanted either charmed or date night and there was another one i think called flirty not sure uh correct correct me if i'm wrong but um yeah so i got another nude and um Quite honestly, how I feel about nude lipsticks now that I'm learning so much about makeup is that nude is a personal thing. Nude colors is just like picking a foundation for your skin, for your skin type, your undertones, and concealer. It's just, this is like really personal. And when you throw a nude lipstick in boxes, you don't know if that nude is going to match with you, you know? So that's how I feel about nude. So I have like a million nudes that look like concealer on my lips. Okay, some people say you could use it with a liner. I don't know what that looks like, but you know, um, yeah, but this one was one of the best nudes, I gotta say, hands down. All right, so the next thing, of course, we got the Dominic, Dominic Cosmetic Thunder Palette. And I, I gotta tell you guys, you all seen this col these colors. This palette is awesome. The payoff on color is great. The blendability is great. Barely any fallout now. However, you cannot use this every day. You cannot use this for work. You either, um, you know, you, you could either use it very light-handedly, but this is like really in-your-face color. So, I mean, this would be good for like a weekend going out dancing or something i don't know so but i do i did enjoy this i really i really like this it's good quality so the next thing that i have uh really enjoyed was this where what are you this uh starry eyed um mask and this is what the what it looks like and you put this behind your wait am i showing you this right you put this behind your ears like this these are the little holders for your ears and it, when it touches your skin it just kind of 
gets warm with skin contact and you leave it on for 20 minutes. It's very relaxing. It actually put me to sleep. So highly love this. I highly recommend this. This was actually two for uh, $10. So I, I could imagine these were $5 each. So I got two of them. I really like that. And um, then let's talk about the brushes. This is from the BoxyCharm collection. The, these brushes retail for $35. They are kind of shaped weird. They look like an egg. And um, they, re wait a second, this is not the one. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm using another brush. This is the one. Okay, this, sorry, that was an elf brush. This, this brush is like the artist brushes. They're shaped kind of like an egg. Um, the handles are kind of different. Um, but one thing I noticed, I did use it. Um, I wasn't crazy about it. They're too dense. And I, um, yeah, I, I don't know what to think of these. I washed them. And then when I washed them, because I dry my brushes like sort of like this over an edge, this kind of went down. And, you know, the bristles are not even. They're just not... There's no consistency this either. So um, $35, I wouldn't pay $35 for those. No, not at all. Not that I am a makeup expert, cause I'm not. I like, I've been learning about things and brushes and I can see how things apply on me. So the next thing I got was this Kuipers. Uh, this was $90. We either had a choice of uh, what is it uh by juice beauty stem cellular eye cream um and or this the kuipers now this is made especially for boxy charm i do love the bottle the bottle is absolutely adorable really i mean this is something i would showcase you know so okay the thing about this um it does not close when i try to close it it opens up it's loose um which I find that bizarre because I have lots of serums and I've never had a bottle do that. Like I said, this is made especially for BoxyCharm, quote unquote. I don't know what that means. Don't know what that means. Uh, Kuipers is a very well known, expensive brand that is very good. So I haven't gotten any irritation or anything, but I'm not fond of the fact that this does not close right i have a subscriber of mine which she's a friend of mine too and i'm subscribed to her channel she got hers her boxy charm and this was open there was crud all over like it was like all mucusy and everything and um they sent her another one and she was concerned too so if she's watching if you're watching kyla uh my bottle does not close either so just saying um i think that's pretty much it uh, guys for the um for the boxy charm um yeah what do, what do I feel um I don't know I'm a little more concerned about skincare we get at boxy I mean sorry to say boxy's great but this this is very concerning to me um and so just the fact that somebody else got a, bar, a jar that was kind of open and mine doesn't even want to close, it's, it's sort of kind of concerning. So I need to do some research on why certain products, when, you're, when the thing doesn't want to close right, what does that mean? Like, is it going bad or is it almost into the expiration date? Don't know. If anyone knows, please leave a comment below because I like to know. Um, so anyway, so let's chit chat a little bit about what's going on with YouTube. Um, you know, I think by December 10th, we are supposed to um, be aware if children are watching our YouTube videos and we're supposed to kind of like, like we're adults, we're supposed to kind of use a feature on our uh, YouTube studio app on how to not let, the, you know, be restricted videos. So um, everybody's in an uproar and everyone's nervous because you could get sued, you know, and how I feel about that is really seriously, guys, I have a life. I work. I have friends, family. I have a boyfriend. 
Um, and I have, you know, I have a busy life and to worry about whether I'm going to be sued or not. That's crazy. I don't have time for that. Besides, you know, those creators, I don't feel bad for me, but I look at those creators that do put a lot of time into their videos, have beautiful thumbnails, uh, have beautiful lighting, beautiful cameras, you know, and this stuff, they got to worry about this that are thinking of making this YouTube arena their livelihood. Um, that would be concerning. I'm not that concerned because, quite honestly, I don't even know if I'm going to stay doing YouTube forever. I found YouTube to be very therapeutic for me and a very a lot of fun. The unboxing got me going because I found those videos so entertaining and so exciting that I wanted to unbox on my YouTube video as well and do join in the fun but you know I've kind of been done with that like I said I've only have BoxyCharm as one of my only subscription boxes that I have and I don't even know if I will be continuing with Boxy um I have been buying my own things um I have been venturing into a different arena you know my likes have kind of changed so in other words um, I'm okay, you know, if, um, if I don't continue YouTube, really, uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to go, but you know, I don't, I don't want to have headaches. <laughs> I want to enjoy my life, you know, guys. Um, but anyway, that's all I have. And please leave a comment below and tell me what you think, guys, because this is like a conundrum. I seriously, like, what is going on? You know, like, really, like, is YouTube throwing us under the bus? or what i'm not sure anyway thank you for watching and um happy thanksgiving for tomorrow i hope all of you have a very safe drive wherever you're going and i have more youtube videos for you i have more unboxings i have more boxes back there things that i have bought with my own money and think that you guys would like to enjoy it and um and see what i've got okay thank you ah, bye bye let's see if i can say bye the right way hopefully stop